Meanwhile, today is the final day of campaigning for candidates running in the local elections. Less than 14 hours from now, Koreans will begin to head to some 13,000 polling stations across the country to cast their ballots. The results from tomorrow's local elections are especially important as they will be a litmus test for the Park Geun-hye administration in the wake of last month's deadly ferry disaster. Our Park Ji-won reports. The country's rival political parties are engaged in one final push to win the hearts of undecided voters on this Tuesday, the last day of the 13-day campaigning period. These elections are increasingly being seen as a vote of confidence for the Park Geun-hye administration with last month's tragic ferry disaster hitting the incumbent government hard. The ruling Senate party is calling on the public to give them one more chance to revamp and reform the government in the wake of the disaster. I earnestly plead with voters to give us strength and another chance so President Park could make a new Korea. Our party, by helping the president, will build a new Korea. The main opposition, New Politics Alliance for Democracy, is calling on voters to hold the ruling party responsible for the government's poor handling of the tragedy. The Senri Party is already asking us to forget about the Seoro ferry. They ask voters to forget about it and wipe the tears of the president by helping her. We'll never forget the Seoro ferry disaster. Over 13-thousand polling stations around the nation will open at 6 a.m. on Wednesday and close at 6 p.m. More than 11 percent of eligible voters already cast their ballots in early voting held late last week. Experts say while the young and old vote will be split down their traditional party lines, with younger people supporting the opposition party and the older generation voting for the conservative ruling party, it's voters in their 40s who hold the key to deciding the victor in this year's local elections. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.